Okay, today we'll be talking about metals, nonmetals, and metalloids. We'll start with metals because they are the most commonly found item in the periodic table. They are usually shiny, very dense, and only melt at high temperatures. The shape can easily be changed into thin wires or sheets without breaking, or vocabulary return is ductile and malleable. Metals will corrode and gradually wear away like rusting iron. Heat and electricity also travel well through the metal. Here is a good conductor, okay? Copper. And then we have iron. Those two are pretty good conductors. Copper is the most commonly used conductor out there. It's in, in everything from your phone to your TV. All right? OK, now we'll go on to nonmetals. All right? On the right side of the periodic table, they are very different from metals. Their surface is dull. They do not conduct heat and electricity as compared to metals. They have low density and will melt at low temperatures. Their shape, the shape of nonmetals cannot be changed easily because they are brittle and will break. Elements, uh, the elements that have the property of both metals and nonmetals are called metalloids, which I have highlighted for you in blue right here. If you guys can see it, all right, see that blue? Yeah, they have both properties. Okay, um, uh, I lost where I was going to say. They can be shiny or dull. Their shape can easily be changed. Electricity and heat can travel through metalloids, but not as easily as it travels through metals. All right. And um, let's go for some metalloids. Metalloids examples are boron, all right, uh, silicon, and germanium. Germanium. Oops, I said that wrong. And here are some non-metal examples. We have oxygen, bromine. Okay, guys, here's a fun fact. While aluminum is the most common metal found in the Earth's crust, the most common metal is iron, mostly because it makes up such a large part of the Earth's core. True fact. All right, guys, here's a non-metal fun fact, okay? Even counting the halogens and the noble gases, there are only 18 elements in the periodic table that are considered non-metals. Wow. All right, guys, here's a double whammy fun fact, okay? Silicon is one of the most important materials to use to make electronics, such as computers, and mobile phones. Arsenic is also known to be one of the most poisonous of the elements.